Hey guys, how's it going? It's Saturday morning, a little before 7.30 a.m. Just thought I'd make a quick video because we got some important football matches today. Um, for us, at least in America, we get to watch Russia against Israel. Or I should say Israel against Russia because it's at Israel, I think. Um, and that has particular importance to England fans because if Israel can beat Russia, then... England is still alive, even though they still have to play Croatia next Wednesday, and they have to beat Croatia to secure um, an advancement into the next round of the Euro 2008. Um, so we get to watch that at least. Um, the other key match today, sadly we don't get to see here in America, is Scotland against Italy. And all Italy, or all Scotland has to do is beat Italy, and then they again, they advance just like England would do if they beat Croatia. Scotland would advance uh, to the next round of the year 2008, and that would be, it'd be fantastic if they could. Um, James McFadden has been one of their key players. He uh, plays for Everton of the uh, English Premier League, so he's been doing very well for Scotland, and hopefully they can um, do well today. I will say it's a tall order. Italy is a very tough team. Of course, the uh, reigning champions of the World Cup, so Hopefully that will uh, be an interesting match, but again, sadly, we don't get to see it. Instead, we get to see the Czech Republic against Slovakia. Yeah, wow, wow, that's going to really turn my crank. Yeah, that's that's really, yeah. So, but at least we get to watch uh, Israel against Russia, and I'll uh, be rooting for um, the Israelis. Um, nothing against Russia, I like the Russian team too, but... Um, you know, if it means England going out, then no, I'm not going to root for you. So, um, uh, yeah. <laughs> um, and I will say it's a tall order, even if Israel does be Russia, it's a tall order for England because, again, they have to play Croatia next, next Wednesday without one of their key strikers, Michael Owens, who, again, got injured. Wow, what do you know? You know, who are the trainers on this guy? I mean, my goodness. If I was a Newcastle supporter, I'd be livid. I mean... Every time he goes and plays international matches, he gets injured. <laughs> I know not every time, but... And then, of course, he had the great tandem with Emil Heskey, and Emil Heskey gets injured. I mean, come on! <laughs> Who's a trainer for England? Do, you know, get your players fit or something. Um, and speaking of that, Steve McLaren, he's the, he's the uh, coach or manager, or whatever you want to call it, for England. You know, and... They say he's going to lose his job if the England doesn't go through. You know, yeah, I guess. I, I just don't think it is, he deserves it. You know, he's he's brought this team back from the brink, you know, post uh, Sven Goran Eriksson. And, and I just don't think it's his fault. I, and I think he needs a d more time to develop this team. But... Um, and really develop the chemistry. I mean, it's not the talent that he needs to develop. It's the chemistry. I mean, you can put a bunch of all-stars on a team. It doesn't mean they're going to start winning. It's you have, They have to bond with one another and have some chemistry. And quite frankly, the reason they went out of the World Cup when they did, they had a really weak uh, table competition, um, they didn't have any chemistry with one another. <clears throat> Excuse me. And, I mean, come on. I mean, they need in chemistry. You got, you know, Stephen Gerrard, uh, Gerrard. I can't pronounce his name. Um, Frank Lampard, and you got all these key players, and yet they have no chemistry with one another. And, it's a, and of course, all the talk is, oh, they're out of, they're playing out of position. They're not in, in their, you know, key roles. It's like, you know what? No, it has nothing to do with that. They have talent. They have this God-given raw talent, and when they don't bond with one another, you know, then you're not going to win very much. So. Maybe you should go for some lesser players, but who can, you know, bond together. You saw that with Emil Heskey and Michael Owens. Um, gosh, I can't remember the midfielder who was put in there, mainly because uh, Hargreaves was injured and Lampard was injured. But, uh, yeah, anyways, I'm digressing here. Anyways, go England. Uh, you better be cheering on for Israel because if you don't, then it's over. You know, it's a moot point for Wednesday. And go Scotland, it's going to be a tough order against Italy, but uh, hey, keep the faith. You can do it. Um, that's about it. Okay, talk to you later. Bye.